How do we protect ourselves against COVID-19? Oh my, COVID-19, what, a, what an earth change, a society changing, earth encircling phenomenon we've seen, just been stunning how it's affected every one of us. Uh, and there's all the society and the psychological and sociologic havoc it's, it's inflicted on us, uh, caused me great concern. But your question is particularly medical one. The, the, there's the viral infection itself. Uh, and the majority of people who get infected either feel nothing or they feel a little achy or fluey and they get a cough for a couple of days and they're fine, especially the younger you are. Uh, but uh, older folks, and especially folks who are obese and diabetic, uh, this virus can deck you, can kill you. And, but we're even seeing deaths uh, from, in young people and, and middle-aged folks. Uh, just because you're under 30 doesn't mean you, this, this disease, this virus can't really turn your lungs into guacamole. It's a powerful virus in, in the wrong body there. So what can you do to protect yourself? Um, one, don't get it, okay? And and I know there's you know, a lot of people anti-mask and masks don't work. Masks do work, uh, and surely, uh, especially double masking. But for the 15 minutes you're in the store, put the freaking mask on. You know, no one's saying you got to wear it first thing in the morning at home. You know, but if you're going out and you're among people, um, it's a, a common courtesy to the to the person at the checkout counter at the supermarket for her sake, for his sake, put on the mask. Don't, don't be breathing on him. And the example that it sets for people is important. Uh, and um, and it might even help you from inhaling it, but stay in those places where the air is moving. Yeah, you won't get uh, COVID infection if you're outside for a walk or for a bike ride, that's safe. And if you're in a big supermarket with industrial air circulation around there, the odds of you inhaling enough virus particles uh, from the guys few feet away. It doesn't happen there. It happens in small spaces with stagnant air in at the, in the end of the bar, uh, in, a, in a tavern, uh, in an intimate restaurant where the air is stagnant and they don't have the fans. That's when people coughing uh, right near a neighborhood, that's how you get infected. So stay out of those situations. Um, so, you know, that take care of 90% of the problem. Keep your immune system strong. Uh, you want to, if you do encounter it, you want your immune system to nail it. So again, eat lots of fresh foods. Don't be eating everything cooked and fried, et cetera. And those two diseases I mentioned, obesity and diabetes, man, will kill you. Uh, the COVID virus really likes those kind of bodies. And in a way, it's it's been a, I wouldn't say a blessing because people haven't acted on it, but um with those conditions, obesity and diabetes, they're, they're, those are someday diseases. Ah, well, one of these, I'll lose some weight one of these days. I'll get around to controlling my diabetes better. Well, one thing COVID has done is taken those someday I'll work on those diseases uh, stance and brought it right in the Your obesity is a risk to you now. It is a, it, your diabetes is a risk to you now. It, you're, the odds of you dying if you get this are higher because of these diseases. And there's been so many missed opportunities the way this pandemic has been handled. It would have been so great if last spring during the first lockdown, the doctors got on the air and say, listen, people, you're going to be home for a couple of months. Use this time. Get yourself healthier. Start eating healthy. Start working out in your living room. Go for a walk every day. We'll emerge from this cocoon leaner and healthier and smarter. But we didn't. And people are doing the opposite. They're sitting home, shoveling in the Oreos and getting fatter and sicker. And that, that's not a good thing. So yeah, as an individual, use this time. Get yourself uh, in really good physical shape. So those are the best thing. Avoid the situations where you may get sick. Get yourself really uh, healthy as far as your immune system and certainly healthy as far as these diseases. Should we get the vaccine? Um, it's certainly making medical sense. And, um, uh, and uh, you know, I certainly have the people who want to get the vaccines. I have no, uh, no real objections. I'm keeping my eye on the long-term consequence. I want to make sure that people who uh, a year later don't get autoimmune diseases or lupus or uh, lymphoma, but it doesn't seem to be happening. And so it's building my confidence that, yeah, they're, they're probably pretty safe. So I'm feeling better and better every month that goes by uh, about these vaccines, even though they're new RNA style vaccines, um, uh, uh, RNA 
style of, uh, of vaccines. I won't go into that. And finally, as Dr. Michael Greger says, um, we're, you know, we've seen the horrific cost, this one not particularly lethal virus, even though it's killed half a million Americans, it's not, it doesn't kill every other person like, so like Ebola can. Um, well, as Dr. Greger says, this, this COVID-19, this might just be a warm-up act uh, for what is being brewed up in, in the massive factory farms, all those anonymous sheds out in the countryside, each one of them houses half a million chickens, uh, 10,000 pigs. And these are all, as Dr. Greger said, these are all Petri dishes with curly tails. They're all swapping viruses back and forth. And the next COVID, a much more lethal one, is ready to jump out and to create even more havoc. And, and again, it's all the more reason to complete the circle why we should adopt a plant-based diet as a society and make these the factory farms disappear before the next virus jumps out and devastates us on a personal and societal level. So again, a plant-based diet is the key to our survival individually and as a species, as well as eliminating all that dreadful suffering the animals are going through because of the factory farms. So all the way around, plant-based diets are where it's at. So get yourself healthy and, uh, and stay out of closed small spaces. <music>